coming up in this video. We are going to be cleaning and ceramic coating this Porsche Taycan Turismo. How did you get into this position in the first place, being able to afford this car? Stay tuned as we are on our way to the Taycan now. Okay chaps, we've just arrived to the first customer of the day. Let's have a look at the condition of the car. As you can see chaps, this Porsche is in quite the state as it has been a victim of a vicious onslaught committed by the nearby trees. Much of the same can be seen in the beautiful interior. Let's get started on these rims, covering them in wheel cleaner before giving them a pressure wash. Now chaps, this car needs more than an average wash as it needs to be completely cleaned and decontaminated to allow the ceramic coating to properly bond. What amazing wheels! The entire car looks extremely menacing. Let's start the two-step pre-wash, first using dirt remover on the lower portions of the car. Next up, the Tino Yellow Snow Foam. Beautiful stuff, the yellow and green seem to go so well together. Now that the dirt has been weakened, you will pressure wash this Tycon Turismo. Porsche is now covered in decontamination spray and then snow foam on top. This allows me to now perform a hand wash, removing both the dirt and loose contamination from the car. Thank you. 
the dirtier lower portion of the car are not missed out. All of the products used to detail this car can be found at tinocarcare.com, the home of your car cleaning needs. We now rinse away the shampoo. Subscribe to our channel as we'll bring you all the best car cleaning knowledge. The time has come to clay the car using the Tino clay towel. This will remove that rough feel from the paintwork, revealing a smooth and beautiful shine. We now perform a final rinse off. This core is now completely dried. Stay tuned as we're going to be interviewing the owner of this Porsche. The gloss is also cleaned. Let's now get started on a beautiful interior with a thorough vacuum clean. Don't forget to give this video a like if you have found it helpful as we give away all of our car cleaning secrets for free.
the rubber mats are given a good pressure wash as we then perform a specialized deep clean on all of the other interior surfaces. We also use the interior detailer and scrub pad combination to exfoliate the stubborn dirt from the exterior plastic. We now hand polish this car to get the paintwork looking perfect before coating it. Usually on older cars it is recommended to machine polish the paintwork before applying a coating. However, this Taycan is brand new and has only ever been cleaned using the safe techniques, meaning the paintwork is in optimal condition. Because of this, my customer and I came to a decision to perform a hand polish instead of a machine polish, which would have cost him a lot more. Once that is done, I wipe down the entire car in IPA, which will remove any oils that can affect the bonding of the ceramic coating. I first coat the exterior gloss. This will repel rain to a great extent, allowing extreme clarity while driving in all weather conditions. I then level out the coating, leaving a crystal clear finish. I now apply a high grade ceramic coating on the paintwork using a cross hatch pattern. The hot sun makes the curing time on the ceramic coating a lot quicker, giving me little to no space for error. To finish off this detail, I use a Tino ceramic tire shine to coat and nourish and shine the tires.
feeling high when I'm low I need it more when you're close to me Close to me I'm feeling high when I'm low I need it more when you're close to me Oh yeah, yeah, yeah This Tycoon is looking absolutely perfect Now, let's take a ride with the owner of this amazing car. So firstly, I would like to thank you for allowing us to come on this ride with you. You know, Gino, I always like seeing you and your brother. We've been doing this for a while now, so it's thank you for turning up and doing a great job. Yeah. So what made you get this Porsche Taycan Turismo? I wanted to get an electric car. I didn't know so much about Porsche. And I've got a family of four. And weirdly, this is kind of practical, you know? So yeah, it kind of works on all kinds of levels and it's fun. What did you have before this? I've actually got two cars. I've got a um, Porsche Cayenne, an older one, which was just a big, good, practical family car. And I've also got an old 60s Pagoda, Merc, yeah. uh, which, uh, which I'm also converting to electric. And you're gonna be cleaning that one next soon. I'm gonna be looking forward to that one. What was your first ever car that ah. you ever owned? Uh, the first car I had was back in 1989, and it was a Fiat Uno, a blue Fiat Uno. Yeah. Not quite like this one though. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get into this position in the first place, being able to afford this car? You know what? It's a lot of luck. So I left university, I got into an investment bank. At that time, investment banks were really, you know, great places to be, really fun places. I just kept getting promoted. I was, yes. I was okay at the job, got promoted, got paid a bit more money, got a better car. <laughs> and um, yeah, just kind of moved up the ranks. I was a trader there. It was just fun times, you know, but I just feel really lucky about yeah. that. That's pretty impressive. And it's always good to see my customers doing really well. Chaps, in the comments below, let us know any questions you have for the owner of the next supercar drive along. What's actually quite nice being on the roads yeah. is that very few people are jealous, right? You know, they basically, it make, most people smile. Really? Yeah, okay. they really do. Is it just this area here or is it in general in London? I find that most people, they want other people doing well. Fair enough. I get that vibe. I always used to think that a lot of people uh, would get jealous and it's quite good to hear that people are uh, respecting other people's hard work. Yeah, do you know what? People just seem happy. It's more that I can see people smile, you yeah. know, and particularly <laughs> after you've done the wash. Because like, <laughs> that, you know, the thing looks amazing. Well, yeah. I must say you made a really good decision on this color. It must be one of my top five best colors on the car. I got it in green, which yeah. is like not standard. Okay. And it's because my kids thought you gotta get green and it's not an old man color. <laughs> and um, basically what it means is anybody young just loves it. That's, and it's fun. So what's your overall experience with Tina Cork here? Do you know what? It's just, I, I can see you do a good job. And also what makes me happy yeah. is I can see you and your brother run this company like you really care. Thank I want you. you to do well. So be sure to like, comment and subscribe and here are two more videos I think you'd like.